The longleaf pine forest spans across the southeast and is home to a diverse ecosystem, including the threatened eastern indigo snake. These rare snakes help keep the balance between prey and predators. Although they are not harmful to humans, these nine-foot snakes are apex predators that seek out venomous snakes and help keep the wildlife population in check. But when the longleaf pine forest began to decline in the early 1980s, so did the indigo snake. Now, nearly 30 years later, the eastern indigo is being reintroduced to the region thanks to funding from Gulf Power, Southern Company, the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, and other public and private partners. Today, we are releasing the eastern indigo snake back to the Apalachicola Bluffs and Ravines Preserve. It has been gone since 1982. We're releasing 12 snakes back into Gopher Tortoise Burrows. It's something that I have been looking forward to for about 20 years. The reintroduction of the indigo snake marks a major step towards species recovery in the region. When the Nature Conservancy acquired the land back in the 80s and early 90s, it was in a highly degraded state. The longleaf pine had been clear cut, the ground cover had been uh, removed and destroyed. Most of the species were able to uh, make it through that as far as the, the, the animals, uh, like the gopher tortoises. However, a few species like the eastern indigo snake were not. So now that we have the site restored 30 years later, we are reintroducing this apex snake. One of the early supporters of this project when we started the restoration in the, the mid to late 90s was the Gulf Power Company. They supported our work of longleaf restoration and, and helped us at the early stages of figuring out how to do ground cover restoration. Later, National Fish and Wildlife Foundation in coordination with Southern Company in general got involved and has been supporting us ever since.